And hard to even fathom what this woman is going through this morning after having to witness that inside the seventh floor of this luxury building here. Uh, within the last few moments, we saw the crime scene investigators wrapping up their on scene work. Uh, they spent the overnight hours collecting any sort of physical or forensic evidence they could find from inside of that seventh floor uh, unit here. And it's uh, come to light that police tell us the sister was concerned enough about her brother's well being because she hadn't heard from him in a few days. She actually came down here and went to his apartment. What she found inside is horrifying. Hey guys, if you don't already know me, I'm Fahim Saleh. At only 33 years old, Fahim Saleh had seemingly amassed a great deal of wealth. A self-made millionaire who was a globe-trotting tech entrepreneur and investor, according to his LinkedIn account. However, someone wanted him dead. She was wailing. It was really shock, a true shock. Soleil's sister made the grisly discovery inside his seventh floor, $2 million apartment at 265 East Houston Street yesterday afternoon. Her brother had been dismembered and decapitated. She just says he has no head um, and kept pointing to her arms uh, and kind of making an arm motion as she went back into the lobby uh, and people kind of surrounded her at that point. Police sources say surveillance video shows Soleil and a well-dressed man clad in all black follow him into his elevator, which opens directly to his apartment. It's believed that's when he was attacked. Investigators tell PIX11 his sister discovered an electric saw still plugged into the outlet and her brother's limbs placed in bags. It's possible she may have interrupted the killing, according to reports, hastily forcing the suspect to flee before finishing the cleanup. It's a scary time right now. People have pent up anger and a lot of stuff's going on. So, um, you know, praying for the guy. And police have not yet made any arrests or said anything about a suspect in this case, but police would believe that this was a professional at work who killed this man at 33 years old. Uh, there are also reports this morning the suspect was dressed in a black suit, had a mask, as well as carrying some sort of bag as he followed the, the victim into the elevator and then into the apartment where everything happened. Live here on the Lower East Side, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, Pixel 11 News.